So, in this case, we're going to be looking at two equations. And you can see there's no numbers, just variables. Remember, it doesn't matter. Numbers, variables, the rules are still the same. It's just the variables are sitting there placeholders for numbers for later. And in this case, what we were asked to do, or hypothetically asked to do, was find B in terms of F, M, and T. So we've got to get rid of A. We've got to eliminate A and then solve for B. And the nice thing is this is pretty set up for us. We have the first equation, good old equation 1, and good old equation 2. Good old equation 1 is a common force equation. This is in physics, force equals mass times acceleration, F equals MA. And what we have here is a little unusual. We've got acceleration equals time and some dependence. So acceleration is dependent on time in this type of situation. Or we can just say A equals T over B. Again, this is just to demonstrate, but that gives you some idea of the context of it. So, what we can do is actually sub equation 2 into equation 1. We've got to get rid of A. We've already got what A is right here. So, if we take equation 2 and put it into 1. That's the notation I'm going to use. So, we had F equals MA. F equals M. Well, instead of A, we're going to write T over B. Then we want to solve for B. Right now B is in the bottom. Remember, if we want to, we can do the inversion method or flip and flip and then bring the other one over. In this case, I'm just going to multiply both sides by B. Multiply both sides by B, so it'll cancel out on this side, and I get F B equals M T. I want just B, got to divide both sides by F. And now I've got already F e or B equals M T over F. Great. Well, what if we wanted to go further? What if we wanted to learn how this is related to any of these variables? Because great, right now we've got a formula. If I solve for M, T, and F, or I have numbers, I can plug it in. And really, that's what we do in science. We don't want to have to know what these numbers are and then do this solution every single time. We get the final result. Now, if I know the various values of M, T, and F I want to try, I just plug into this equation and solve for B right away. Well, how is B related to these? And we actually tried this in a previous video. We looked at equations and saw, all right, how is something on this side related to something on that side? So if we were looking at, and like the trick we use, remember, is plugging in numbers. So if I wanted to see how B was related to M, I could try different numbers. If I want to see what happens if I increase M, I could try two different values of M, keeping the value of T and F the same. In this case, We've already looked at that, and it's fairly straightforward. If this was a 2, okay, great, it would be 2TF. If it was a 4, if I tried M equals 2, I'd get B equals 2TF. Last time, we actually plugged in values for T and F. We don't necessarily need to. If I try M equals 4, B equals 4T over F. And for organization, you could write subscripts to keep yourself organized, separate them. I didn't before, but I can see the two different values of M, or different values of B, sorry. When I increase to M, this one's clearly bigger. It's the same as this, except times two. Increasing M increases B. And it makes sense, since they're proportional. Remember, they're both, this is on top. So when this increases, so does B. And actually, right away, you can say the same about T. T is also on top. If we increased it, B would increase. What about F? We've got it on the bottom there. That you can think, previous video, we saw that was inversely proportional. Or again, plug in some numbers. B, well, in this case, I'm going to say F equals 3. I'm going to call this B3. So B3 would equal MT over 3. But what if F was 6? Well, B6 equals MT over 6. It's being divided by a bigger number, meaning it's smaller. MT, if it's the same in both cases, bigger number on the bottom means it's getting smaller. If you could think this, if this on top was 6, if MT was somehow 6, this case would be 2, this case would be 1. Increasing F decreased B. This is the kind of analysis you're going to do a lot. So, 
Hopefully this helps you with that. Thank you.